So here we are. Uh, Happy New Year, everyone. It's 2013. Happy New Year. It's exciting, isn't it? And last year was a great year. I don't know if we can top it. It was a great year, wasn't it? It was uh, the year of the Olympics, of course. Uh, and, uh, incredible. And some people decided to finish it by drinking it out in Olympic style. Uh, have a look at this one. This proud Olympian, who I will call <laughs> Arise Sir Swiggo. There he is right there. Uh, we have this one. I'd like you to meet Boozane Bolt. <laughs> I think he's warming up for this year's Paralytics. Here's my favourite, check this one out. And you see, <laughs> he's on the road to recovery because they do say you should alternate. For every alcoholic drink, you should drink at least one gutter full of water. So he's there. <laughs> now, New Year is a traditional time, of course, for a skiing holiday. Anyone going skiing or has been skiing? Yeah. Uh, I've only been skiing once. I love going skiing, I'm not going skiing again, but I loved it at the time. It's a great, I thought it was a great kind of experience because even though it's cold, you still enjoy the sun, you've got the fresh air, all the snow, and you get the opportunity to show off some new tricks. Have a look, these are my favourite skiing tricks I've seen this year. That's the best one, isn't it? That's the best one. All right, uh, we've got a packed show for you. It's packed full of guests. We've got some great fun, but I want to introduce you to my musical guest tonight. He's a very special musical guest. He's just 18 years old, ladies and gentlemen. He's already had a great 2012. I think he's going to be just an enormous star this coming year. We're lucky to have him with us. Will you please big it up for Mr. Jake Bug, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. Bug will be seeing him, he'll be playing live later on. Let's have a look who else is on the show tonight. My first guest is, I maintain, and it's official as well, the greatest Doctor Who of all time, the fabulous David Tennant. There he is. <laughs> you just look more handsome every time I see you. So do you, John. Oh, God. David is super famous, OK? Because uh, Who was a hit all over the world and many other things you've been in, of course. But David's so famous, he even once featured on a stamp. That's right, isn't it, David? <laughs> It's true. And that great lady is a stamp you want to lick on the front, then on the back, then on the front. <laughs> David Tennant, ladies and gentlemen, he'll be out in just a minute. <laughs> the next guest is one of the nation's favourite comics. It is the fabulous Sarah Millican. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. Hello. Yeah, I just want to check them. Last time Sarah was on the show, and I just want to check, I don't know if it's still the case, so Sarah told me that uh, she lives in Manchester while her boyfriend lives in Birmingham. Yeah. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, but you still meet up for romantic meets and that kind of thing? Yeah, like Stoke on Trent, that sort of thing. <laughs> or a wild bean cafe in a service station in Nutsford. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know about my bean? <laughs> well, Happy New Year. Uh, the lovely Sarah Millican, ladies and gentlemen, she'll be at shortly. My next guest is a tremendous American actor. He's the star of Entourage and of the new ITV drama, Mr. Selfridge. It's Jeremy Piven. <laughs> He's a stylish, good-looking young man right there. <laughs> Lovely to see you again, Jeremy. Good to see you. I can't really see you, but I can hear you and I can feel you. OK, well, that's <laughs> probably the best way to approach me, I think. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> in the forthcoming Mr. Selfridge, Jeremy will be playing Harry Selfridge, the, yes. the founder of Selfridges, of course. And that's yes. a coincidence because David has just been offered the role of Sir Hamish Poundstretcher. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy Piven, ladies and gentlemen, right there. And we have more. Very excited because my next guest is the undisputed greatest darts player of all time. 16 times world champion, Phil the Power Taylor. Yeah. Phil the Power Taylor. 16 times world champion. 16. Remarkable. I'm a, I hope you know I'm a big fan, Phil. Thank you, I know. Yeah, I know you are, Jonathan. I am. Thank I'm, you. I tell you, do you know how big a fan I am, though? No. I'll tell you how big a fan I am. I'm such a, a big fan of Phil the Power Taylor that I recently switched my electricity provider from N Power to Phil the Power. That's how. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you have a good Christmas, uh, Phil? 
Busy, busy Good. playing in the World Championships over Christmas, so... Yeah, never, don't go on about it. All right, we know you want to go, it's all right. Just talking about the social side of life. Uh, I had a lovely Christmas, thanks for asking. I had a lovely Christmas, <laughs> apart from one incident involving my wife's present. And, you know, it's kind of hard when you've been uh, married for a long while to find presents to give each other, because, you know, you've kind of given each other everything over the years, you know, every, everything, every little bauble and knick-knack and STD. So I asked her in advance... <laughs> I asked her in advance, you know, what she wanted, and she asked me, and, and one thing on her list was a pair of Ugg boots. She said, you want a new pair of Ugg boots? And I said, that's great, I'll get her a pair of Ugg boots, so I ordered them up, uh, bought them on the internet, OK? The box came. <coughs> I didn't open uh, the box to check, because it said on the outside, Ugg boots, I checked the size right, uh, gave them to her. When she opened up on Christmas morning, then she was open, I said, it's those Ugg boots you wanted, darling. This is what I've got to take them out. This is what she got. Not making this up, this is what she got. When she opened up, she opened them up, and there's the Ugg boots I bought my wife for Christmas, OK? <laughs> It's, uh, it's the toddler size five, not her size five, OK? I'm not sure whether to send them back or make them into an ornament and we'll put them on the tree every year. <laughs> so that was the worst gift she got. Uh, I'm going to ask the guys in the green there. What a, let me start with uh, Phil. What did you get for Christmas? What kind of... Uh, do, is there one present you didn't particularly like or stuff you didn't like? Well, what my family get me is these smellies. For some reason or other, everything I've got is aftershaves. So you've got loads of aftershaves? Everything's aftershaves and deodorants, so... I'm, I think I'm getting wow. old now, I think it is. So everybody keeps buying me smelly things. Or maybe you're getting old, or maybe you just stink. I don't know what you're <laughs> about to get old. Uh, Sarah, what did you get? Anything that was um, kind of... I got a shoehorn uh, wow. off my boyfriend. I, he, he makes out that he just makes a list all year round of all the things that I mentioned that I liked, and I think at some point I must have been trying to get in a too small dress and made a joke about needing a shoe hole. <laughs> <laughs> and then he bought me one. <laughs> uh, let me ask David. David, what did you get? Any gifts that weren't expected? Yeah, I... This was a surprise. <laughs> wow. So is that, that's a case for the new iPhone 5, That's isn't exactly it? what it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah it, uh, but it doesn't quite fit, the sorry. new iPhone 5. Who, who, was, who was that from, then? Have you met my wife? <laughs> it, it's, yeah, I mean, the, I... That, you can maybe squeeze... But look at that. Wow. You can't squeeze anything in there. I... Well, even if you could, you wouldn't admit it, would you? No, quite, exactly. <laughs> and, but she also bought me this. Which is... Wow. <laughs> Which is a stress ball. Do you think she intended you to use them at the same time, the two gifts? <laughs> it's maybe she may be just trying to keep me off her. I don't know. But it's <laughs> it's it's quite pleasing. That's Have a go on that. <laughs> <laughs> He's not really anywhere near it. Yeah. Jeremy, Look at that. Oh, Jeremy, it's like, it's, it's like being at home. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Jeremy, I didn't ask you. I better... Uh, I'll fill straight in there. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's on your lift for next year. Yeah. Don't throw it in there. Gonna... <laughs> you don't practice keepy-uppies with them, Phil. Uh, Jeremy, well, do you get yeah. any lovely Christmas gifts? Well, I I'm actually Jewish, so I, I receive nothing. But thank you for reminding me. Do you want a tit? I do. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. I like to think we're bringing the cultures together there with uh, an inflatable breast. Uh,